Chaska has a lot, you know, 25,000, but it still has that really small town feel. Um, you go to the grocery store and you run into a lot of people you know, and it's just a community. It's just absolutely amazing, you know, to think about where this all started and how far he's come. Here's a one-two pitch coming from Brad Hand. He struck him out of the Padres win. My grandma described him once as having a lot of ginger. So he was, he was full of energy and always doing something, playing with all kinds of kids, one sport to the next. Growing up in Minnesota, if you don't play hockey, you're kind of an outsider. So just growing up, going, being able to go outside in the backyard on the, on the pond and skate around was, was fun for sure. Hockey was like the first sport that he could do. I think it was at four. He could yeah. start doing that. He flooded our backyard a couple winters, just all the neighborhoods. Kids would come over and skate. And, it was fun. My parents are very special to me. I mean, I wouldn't be here today without, uh, you know, everything that they did for me growing up. Uh, played three sports in high school, so they had to bring me everywhere, all my tournaments, everything like that. Couldn't be more grateful for what they did for me. I coached football and baseball and helped with basketball. I helped with those all the way through youth sports until he got to the high school level when they they take over at that point, so then I'm coaching from the stands. Probably around freshman, sophomore year, baseball just started to take off even more, and the last few years became the, the passion. Ninth grade, 10th grade, there was a group of guys that were all pretty good. And then 11th grade, he just kept getting better. 12th grade, better, and the other, a lot of the other guys started to plateau a little bit, and that's where I think the real separation was. We just kept hoping, you know, that he would play high school ball, and then when scouts started coming, I think that's when it kind of hit me like, I think this is serious. I think he's going to play professional baseball. I got called up from AA Jacksonville. And the manager called me into the office. So he starts going over the lineup, and he just started reading off the Atlanta Braves lineup. And I was like, he's like, because that's who you're going to be facing the next time. We happened to be there, too, when he got cut. You know, obviously that was tough. Things had gone pretty much his way all the way through. I mean, when he got called up, I think he was the second youngest player in baseball at the time. He was bounced around a lot between starter and reliever, and I think that was what made it challenging for him. And then I think he was confident, but probably a little bit scared in the back of his mind um, at that time, but it didn't take long for the Padres to luckily pick him up. Oh, you can talk to the hand. Brad Hand strikes out Carlos Gonzalez. The coaching in San Diego, I think, has taken him to this, this next level, which is as good as it gets in any sport, right? I mean, you're the best of the best if you're making all-star teams at the major league level. This day forward, when you go to Brad Hand's page on Baseball Reference, it'll have that little box that says all-star. You can't take that away from him. That's awesome. And anytime you get to represent the, the team that you're playing for in the all-star game special, I mean, it's something that you'll uh, be able to live with the rest of your life. You get that staple of being an, being an all-star. Obviously very proud, but I'm also proud of the fact that he hasn't changed. I mean, he's still, we call him Bradley. You know, he's still Bradley to us, and the type of husband he is and father just really makes me, you know, just as proud.